Hi, it's James here with the Sprinkle Donut Forge in Moscow, Texas, and uh, I've been making some nails to warm up, so that's the end of the day. And uh, I used the corner of the anvil to create a little offsets. And uh, I was thinking, now what if I had a little top tool that I could hold in my hand along with the piece of stock that I'm holding by hand over the top of the anvil? Then in essence, I'd have an edge on top and bottom, just like a top and bottom puller, you know, top and bottom tools that you typically use. So I looked around. This is some really hard material. It's not like a, what I would consider to be a knife grade, but it's a lot harder than mild. It's tough. It's like a spring steel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold that thing over on itself once, see if I need to fold it twice and try to forge weld that thing and then square it up real nice that way I can hold it let's say I've got this stock over the edge of the anvil and I've got this piece with the little block on the end I can hold over it and I can create a top impression at the same time as the bottom so let's see if that works I'm gonna get this in the fire get it hot we'll try to weld it and uh, I'm gonna put my safety goggles on yeah, my flip-ups are missing in action, so I'm just going to have to use my Shade 5 welding goggles. Alright, we'll get it hot. See if we can't weld this without borax. See you in a minute. Alright, let's clean it up a little bit and fold it over. Alright, fold it over, back in the fire. Alright, I'm going to heat it up again. A little tip didn't quite weld down like I wanted it to. Heat that up one more time and lay it down. folded it again I'm gonna to try to weld that
right, see I folded it over once and then twice. Now I'm gonna put it through another welding heat to kind of make sure everything's stuck good. Kind of forge it down. And you can see that'll be a little tool. Or that's the idea. Anyway, I may cut some of it off here and there to square it up. But we'll see how much I can do on the anvil. See you in a minute. Filthy rag. Sticking pretty good. There's one little spot here towards the end that didn't quite stick like I wanted. I'm gonna heat it up and try to forge it down the opposite direction and see how bad it splits. If it sticks about a half an inch in, I'll cut that part off because I want a nice sharp edge there. And I uh, made this little foot long enough to where I can cut the tip flat and I can cut the inside like I want it. Basically a square block on a flat rod. A rectangular is what I'm going for. Back in. About three quarter wide, nine sixteenths thick, and two and a half long. That might just do. That might just do. I'm gonna heat it up, do a little finish forging on it. I'm gonna try to flatten this end up here. And that inside on the edge of the anvil just like that and uh, then I'll grind it into shape let's do that we'll see you in a minute I'm going to hit that with the flatter.
switch that off and grind it in a minute. All right, here's our little top tool. See, it's got a sharp inside corner there. I hacksawed off a piece about an eighth of an inch there, and it was stuck, and that was the end of the weld, so I'm satisfied with that. Um, I didn't clean the sides up too deeply to get rid of all the pitting or none of that. I just wanted something with a corner here that I could hold over another piece of stock. Um, for example, where is that piece of stock at? Right here. Okay. Here's a piece of the same kind of bar. And I worked it down to a crude square. So I'm going to put that over a good edge on the anvil. And then I'm going to align this tool up with it to where that edge and the edge of the anvil are together. And I can hold these together at the same time and then strike the top of it. As long as the piece underneath is at a good heat. And I don't just leave this thing sitting on there long enough to get to a forging heat itself. So let's try to do that and we'll conclude the video. See you in a minute. Alright, that side of my anvil is about as bald as an egg. I got a lot of edges over here so it sets you up where you can hopefully see the tool and the piece of metal on this side. I'm going to use this area. It's still got corners. Alright, out with it, on with it. Get it over the top of the piece. Line it up with the corner and see what happens. I can tell this is going to take a little learning curve to get used to. That did some. Let's get it hot again. Tool the tool. Alright, let's set up our little step. Get that in it. Let's see if we can't uh, do some good. A reference don't get your finger in between there you don't feel great now if you were using this thing like with the uh, striker and you could use both hands I can see where you could use it for a lot of stuff like a little flatter. Oh, that does work good for a little flatter. Anyway, you can see that it started creating a little step there and it flattened that pretty good. It'll have its uses. The idea was kicking around in my mind, and I had to build it. Let's cool that off. Great. Well, there's our little tool. See you in a minute. Well, here's what we got. Folded it, welded it a couple of times, and squared it off. Now, you could round that, make like a little fullering tool. Like I say, if you've got both hands free for hammer and tool, and uh, you have a striker or power hammer or something like that, making little tools of various shapes like this would be handy for you. Uh, I'm going to use this for like a spot flatter. I can see that right now. Put it in places and flatten up with it. So I'm happy with it. I hope you gleaned something from this. Maybe you saw how I welded it. And perhaps you can practice your forge welding yourself. It's an essential skill in the shop. 
that's all I got for this evening. Till next time, bye.